where, where the clean out was where I'm um, you know under the bathtub and somebody had made a like a 500 gallon um, septic tank plugged up the, the sewer line right there that dropped into it diverted the uh, uh, the, the bathtub and the, 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 the washing machine uh, thing into this this like makeshift septic tank and then they had like a French drain that went like 130 40 feet out to the back which I didn't know about but when I, I sucked all the water out it was raw sewage and then I uh, put it into the uh, I treated it and everything, and then I, I went underneath the uh, the slab of the house. Are you still with me? Okay, I went under the slab of the house, and I cut along the, the electric line that was there, you know, like through the sand, and it was just sand and rocks and a little dirt. And uh, it was just raw sewage all the way down for hundreds of feet, right? And then, and I'm like, so I start, to, I go, okay, i got to remediate this. So I put it on the lawn, you know, which was the lawn, and then I started, you know, I put in uh, stuff that you guys recommended, what have you. And I cut through the pressure washer and stuff. And then, meanwhile, I found this layer of sludge type stuff. Um, and we got, I'm sorry? Where the water kind of drains and then just goes boom, but it never dries. And he goes, that's the water table. Yeah, because this is an electrical issue, not a water issue. I can understand with the water issue. That was in the, uh, the other guy's name. That was in the, uh, uh, one of the owners' names. Yeah. Well, the water was involved, too, because the water was contaminated. How was the water contaminated? So the water is also involved. Oh, yeah, sure, the water's involved, but the contamination's happening through the ground on the way to the house. Mm-hmm. But... Can I give you the name of my manager? Um, you can, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, what's that name? His, my manager is Patrick Tucker. What's the last name? Tucker. T-U-C-K-E-R. T-E-C-K-E-R? T. T like in Tom. Oh, T? Yes. And then what, what is it? U-C-K-E-R? Correct. U-C-K-E-R. Patrick Tucker. Correct. Okay, and then he's the... He's, uh, he's our manager for... For customer service. Manager for customer service. Yes, so he's my big boss. And that, is that customer service for the call center? Gas lines uh, were severed uh, and booby trapped, and there was other booby traps uh, placed and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, the theory here is this, and is that there's this large group of people, okay, and what they do is that. They seize people's houses in Pasadena, and the way they seize them is that there's there's poisoned wells there. They know they're poison and everything, and instead of running the well deeply into the ground, which you know you should, and you know taking measures like filtering the water and stuff like that, they're not. They're running it up to a shallow surface, and they're picking up all the TCEs and all the perchlorates and. All the other goodies that are just like in there from JPL, the kind of dumping everything into the, boom, uh, but it never dries. And he goes, that's to the, the Arroyo. Table. Now, they pump this stuff into the neighborhoods knowing people are going to get sick. Uh, it was openly told to me that my water's poison, my water's poison, my water's poison by the head of the water department when I was arguing with her and, uh, you know, about, you know, having my water stuff put on. And then. Uh, you know, the Sammy told me, you know, how to take, uh, how the best thing to do was to take a bath, but put in, you know, like a, a bottle of uh, uh, isopropanol alcohol. And, uh, oh, that would really work good, you know, good for the muscles and everything, right? <laughs> but it's poison, and it makes the thing driver, it drives it into you deeper. Now, they had, underneath the house, they had broken the pipe on purpose this for the sewer drainage, and they had created an actual uh, a vault for, for uh, uh, sewage to accumulate under the house and then slowly leach out through the electric power run that runs alongside the driveway and uh, into the yard, which has got a layer of really old sewage on it. Um, 
and you know under that there's compact paint clay that was placed there and it's got little parts in it and stuff and that was done to hold in all the uh, um, chemicals that are buried in the back and there's barrels and barrels underneath the ground the house in the back 2192 Corson Street Pasadena California is sinking into the ground there is no pad on that house yet that house was not red tagged that house was not yellow tagged they keep that house active more people are going to be moving in there um, they did not rehook up the sewer line I did I had a temporary two inch hose to uh, run the sewer line into the thing the sewer line was cut and allowed to on the p-trap in the middle of the yard and allowed to escape gases into the yard and the reason why that is is because it's a bio uh, mass then ESP like uh, extra sensory like yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay exactly. yeah it probably was Pasadena alright so you just go ahead and email us and then uh, when you're really ready you just email us your address and uh, number to contact you and we'll set up a time and We'll go out there and take a look at it. All oh, right, on. Hey, where do you take it anyway? Where's the, where do you, you got to take it and there's, there's fees and you stuff? Know what it, it, yeah, it just, it depends on what it is. The house we just finished completing, it was, uh, man, it was pretty big. It was like a three acre lot and it had trash. We charged them 3500 And, um, the only reason we charged them 3500 because, uh, we found papers for the, for the city shut them down because there was a deem I had to for, uh, unlivable. And, um, sure enough, man, all the stuff they had in there was just, getting the guys that were working there, they were getting uh, rashes from the, picking up the clothes, and picking up the trash, and dealing with all that stuff, so you know what I mean? But if you don't have, if you're you know, hallway trash, and just metals and stuff like that, it should be a flat rate, and it would be done quick, so it's not like, you know what I mean, price is reasonable. Oh, okay. Are the guys okay? So, excuse me, go ahead. Are your guys okay? No, I, I only work with one other guy, so I mean, it's just me and the other guy. <laughs> oh, okay. And that house, that house, he had um, some friends that lived around the area, and they need to work, so we just put them to work. Cool. I bet they're okay yeah. now, right? They're not sick or anything? No, 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 no. They, don't, they, they um, I, I think it was because they were messing around, and we were telling them, like, hey, keep your, keep your, keep your sleeves down, keep your gloves on, you know, keep your mask on. And they were just, you know, they wanted to do their own thing, and then when they were there crying about the arms they're itching, and all these brains, it's like, the coach, you know, man, you want to listen. Oh, yeah, God, you gotta, you gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, it was just, it was just mold, it was mold, it was just, you know, feet, it was just nasty, it was straight nasty. You know what I mean, the worst case, that was like the worst, probably that's the second worst we've probably done. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. All right, so, uh, um, this has got, I probably have a bunch of, uh, uh, poison oak back there, too. Oh, okay, yeah, then that's fine, then you can, thanks for getting the heck up, so like that, you know, huh? Yeah, right, all right. Cool, man. Well, thanks. And uh, this is James, right? Correct. Your name is? And they said that they, uh, um, I gave them a list of all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can, uh, uh, You know what they should do? Get a big, you know, one of those big, uh... Roll-off? Roll We've already spent almost $10,000 on this mess, okay? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got Pasadena. They, they said they're coming here. Um, and... Yeah, so no, we don't want anything in the street. No, not yeah. on the street, but on that. But that I mean, stuff I don't you, want on the street. Is safe? I can it's, not, it's not my place to say whether it's safe or not. Yeah. Should uh, I put it on? What do I do? I mean, yeah. you know. I don't, what I don't want is, is the stuff on the sidewalk over there. See, we okay, can't tell yeah. you what to do because that's your personal belongings. We can only take care if you were living in a health hazard condition like wet sewer. And, you know, well, yeah, it's been here the whole time. The thing that's is, yeah. your personal belongings is your problem. You have to take what okay, you, well, you do, whatever you have to do to save yeah, yourself. I don't want to see, like I said. We tested basically uh, you know, shows that you definitely have a combination of bacteria and mold going on. Uh -huh. and, and it's just, uh, in addition to whatever else you have, those, those two things That's are it. serious uh, and, and very critical and will definitely Hello. affect your health. Hi. How's it going? Hey, is this house for sale? Yeah. Yeah. This way.
the fireplace? What's that? The fireplace? Uh, no, I, I don't know why you cut it. I have no idea. Look out. If you want anything, you can go right ahead and take whatever you want. I found the guy who say less. Huh? Started moving the stuff from that from that dirt from that pile back there, which I don't know what it was in the thing, but it just burned my nose. I mean, my nose started bleeding. From, I don't know what was in there. The chemicals, yeah. Yeah, you know what? There's uh, the place is contaminated. Yeah. It's yeah. totally contaminated. Yeah. It's under the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause I was just like, man, it just was killing. was just like, man, it just was killing. Me. This place is fucked up. Yeah. You don't. You shouldn't do it. I, I didn't. I had no other choice to do. I had no other choice. I didn't. You got a mask. You wear a full mask protection. And did you, your arms and stuff hurt? No, 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 no. Once I once I got away from the grass, you know. So. You only been here a few days. Ago. Yeah, I only been here a couple. I've been. I've been trying to get it done as fast as possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Do, you have, do you have a phone number? I yeah, yeah. Do. Let me get your number. Yeah, mommy, wait. His name is Hassan. Hassan is selling the house. Mm-hmm. Hassan is selling the house. Mm-hmm. The guy told me, <clears throat> I asked him, I said, the place is contaminated. You shouldn't bring your kid here. You need to wear a mask. And he goes, no shit. He goes, dude, I moved this fucking nose. I'm moving the dirt and this other stuff. And he goes, it just fucking made my nose bleed. I got go, I got a nose. I never get that, you know. I, he goes, I got a nosebleed and all this other stuff, and he's looking like he's freaked. <laughs> he's looking freaked. So they, so all the sewage in the ground, okay, that's just like you know, wave stuff, and it's like, uh, do you guys test it or anything for a public hazard? Nope. To get, what do you do, just leave it there? Yep. We'll deal with the, with the owner of it. Not a public hazard, right. as long as there's nobody here. What about the next? I'm going to go ahead. Off. I'll cut this, pull the ring, pull the meter, Okay. put an armored pipe plate in, put okay. the ring back on with a red seal. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Oh, you don't have to cap anything or whatever. Yeah. Right That's just for the lighting, for the, uh, just so we can have lighting in there. We'll later. Yeah, no, you're going to have to come back. It's too dangerous. Besides, you don't want to be in here uh, with all this uh, raw sewage anyway, that long. No, no, it makes, it makes yeah. everyone that comes back here too. Yeah, so it's. It's, it's best you not be in here that that long. Matter of days. It is so dangerous. It's not funny. Every time we went in there, uh, we'd get knocked down for a week or two. Uh, the city of Pasadena through Ophelia Cavazos, John Pollard, uh, Joel Murphy, and uh, um, Bill Kimura. Pretty much, they what they did is they ganged up and they uh, prevented us from grabbing 
any of our stuff, taking it out of the pro off the property, and uh, and then uh, uh, keeping it there, uh, so it would get destroyed in the rain outside. They cut our water off, they cut our power off, and they went around and threatened the neighbors not to give us any water or power. Um, this is the worst case of, you'd want to say negligence, but it's not. It was set up in advance to do this. Um, they've been doing this to people for a long time. They get them into court, there's a default judgment, and they take their stuff, seize it, and then they get to the, collect the insurance money. And they don't do anything, and they just do it again, and again, and again, and again. There's a pit underneath the house, and uh, that's where the, the black water goes, and it slowly leaches out through the yard. And where the sewer line is hooked up in the back, they just threw the rocks back in. But they dumped this stuff in Riverside, and uh, it's loaded with uh, spores, it's loaded with bacteria, it's loaded with sewage. And it's loaded with uh, um, um, uh, cysts. And then there's the VOCs from probably trichloroethane and uh, radioactive uh, amines. There it is. Uh, look, look at the other stuff on the site. Uh, Google 2194 East Corson Street. Thank you. Uh, God bless. Have a great day.